Only Wash 2 spoke with the officer who helped a teenager moments after her father and stepmother were shot by her ex boyfriend on Christmas Day. Investigators say the suspect drove all the way from Texas to Marion County, then he committed suicide while driving back. After the couple was shot, their teenager ran to a neighbor for help. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown spoke exclusively with that neighbor, and Gail, we learned he's an Ocala police officer. Absolutely, and that Ocala police officer was off duty. He tells me that he was building a bike for his child for Christmas. Then all of a sudden, he hears a banging at the door as well as his doorbell ringing. Hysterical girl crying outside. Still not unsure what's going on. Um, you know, my wife immediately called 911, uh, got a hold of dispatch, and from there, you know, they advised us there were several calls in the area of gunshots. We are not identifying this Ocala police officer, but he was off duty and the neighbor who helped an 18 year old victim after a double shooting in her Marion Oaks home on Christmas Day. It's still off duty, but I'm still, you know, helping somebody out, whether I'm a police officer or not. You know, Try to help out as many people as possible. Investigators say 23 year old Preston Pollard shot and killed the teen's father, 36 year old Richard Hudson. Hudson's wife, Mary Lou, was shot as soon as she answered her door and remains in critical condition. An 18 year old, the shooter's ex girlfriend, ran for help after making sure her three nieces and nephews were out of harm's way. It just so happened her neighbor was an Ocala police officer. She told me exactly what she did. You know, she put her siblings in the bathroom, locked them in, and tried to escape. And Came to you know the nearest house. While he went to check things out, his wife stayed with the teenager and called 911. I mean, she calmed her down. You know, got some more friends. She was on 911 the whole time. Deputies say the gunman was driving back to his home in Venus, Texas, when they tried to pull him over. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says that's when Preston Pollard shot and killed himself while driving 70 miles an hour just inside Okaloosa County. Now, I did speak with a spokesperson with the Marion County Sheriff's Office today, and she says that detectives are on the way to Okaloosa County. They believe that the murder weapon, as well as the clothes that Preston Pollitt was wearing are, during the shootings, are in his vehicle. And, of course, they're going to make sure they confirm that with forensics. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Marion County for West 2 News.